everybody. This is Vanessa from Deganya Aromatics, natural products for spirit, soul, and body, and welcome to another video. So in this video, I am going to be working on um, a melt and pour soap. So a while back, I made this soap here, and it's kind of, I thought it was kind of good looking. Um, I love the way it looked, but I was dis disappointed in performance. Let me show you the soap. Here it is and it is a melt and pour soap it's made here's the buttermilk it's a buttermilk base and this is tea tree and this is a charcoal I had blended and so the soap really looks really cool hope you can see it but the problem I had with the soap is that when you when I went to test it or take a shower um, the little chunks fell out so I wasn't happy with that so what I'm going to do is remake this soap into a different product. It's still gonna, it still will be a soap, but it's going to be designed slightly different. So the first part of our process, and I already started some so you can see, I began, I did some shredding. So I'm going to do some shredding now. completed the shredding these are really nice and they're tiny and I like the way these came out now that I'm done with the shredding of the um, of the block soap for lack of better words that's what I'm calling it right now now I'm going to cut up some additional melt and pour and the one I'm using is one of my favorite it's by wholesale supplies plus and I'm using baby buttermilk open the packages here for whatever reason when I bought these and I well, actually when I purchased them the um, the, the, the lids they, they weren't standing completely up so that was no fun mm. so it's just garbage here just to the side for a moment so I'm gonna spend some time cutting the soap up into small blocks I'll just show you a few cuts then I will, um, I don't think you want to watch the whole thing because it is relatively boring. But I like to cut mine up into small pieces. It, I think it helps with the, the entire melting process. And I like, I like the smell of this baby buttermilk soap. It is so clean clean very clean smelling and I just, I just enjoy it now that I've gotten all my melt and pour or my buttermilk soap chopped up into easy meltable pourable pieces um, I'm going to put this to the side just for a second because I'll need to watch it next thing I'm going to do is prepare my molds so what I will do here each mold can fit two on a tray. I'm only using four today. And I'm going to squirt the inside of the mold, excuse me, with alcohol. I'm going to well coat it. I am very generous with my alcohol because I want everything to adhere nicely. So I don't want to bore you. I'll do just do a couple of these, then I'll pause the video and move on to something else move on not to something else but to the next step so here I'm going to put the tray on my scale I'm going to weight it then I'm going to tear it tear it because I want for each cavity will contain 1.5 ounces of the shreds and so I'm going to put it in there to be in there and really nice and when I put it in as I'm putting it in I'm also going to squirt it a 
with alcohol. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so busy concentrating on this. I forgot I was talking to you guys. Put it here. And the reason I want to be generous with the alcohol, I want to make sure when I pour the other soap, the, the buttermilk, that it adheres nicely. Now that I have completed adding the shreds to each all the molds behind me, and um, yeah, I use my chair as a as a um, mini table because I don't have any more space. But I will have 16. Um, make 16 soaps. So the next step in the process while these just sit here is to melt the oops sorry for a second. I'm going to melt the buttermilk melt and pour soap and once it's melted I'm going to add in rose um, rose clay and I'm going to be adding in my own essential oil blend of lavender, geranium, and a tea tree. So now that the buttermilk melt and pour soap is melted, I do have a few bubbles, so I'm gonna I am going to squirt the bubbles to get rid of them. And then we're gonna I'm going to add in I'm adding in my um, this is rose clay mixed with 91% alcohol. It's either 91 or 90 or 99. Can't remember off the top of my head. And so we're going to get as much out as we can. It's going to give us a very, very pretty pink. And rose clay is one of the gentlest clays on earth. It's great for those who have um, dry, sensitive skin. It's very, very gentle. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in my essential oils. And my essential oils, the amount I'm using is only based upon the buttermilk soap, which is in here, not upon the shreds because they already have essential oils so and it, you can they're still fragrant so it doesn't make any sense to add any more essential oils it'd be overkill and so i want to make sure i get all this out There's nothing left in there. Yeah, I get it all out. I don't care. Good. Now, my next step in this process, I'm going to move this out the way, is to check my temperature. And of course, I lift my thermometer on the other side of the room. Be right back. And, um, 114, a little cooler than I want it to be. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, I want to make sure I try to get these even. And each cavity should receive approximately a hundred, uh, hundred, 3.5 ounces of oil, I mean of, of soap. Get it here. Sorry you can't see it, I'm tearing it. And because I don't want to spill, and I don't want my hands to be overworked or get very tired too fast. I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna pour some of it in here just to make it easier to work with. Okay. Now I'll keep going back and forth. See bubbles? There we go. 
and I'm at a tear and here we go. This is going to be a very, very, very pretty soap and I, oops, I already know this because I've experienced it already. And me, Miss Messy, and, and we're going to just make sure we get all of it. This soap smells so good, especially if you like geranium. The combination of geranium and lavender together is absolutely lovely. I know a lot of people don't like tea tree because the smell can be overpowering. I won't lie about that. But it does great things for our skin. Now the hard part. I have to move this so I can do the next one. So I am going to pause the video so I can gently move this without messing this tray and trying trying to avoid oops no wiggles. I hate when we get the wiggles in the soap. No, I didn't. I see the wiggles in that one. The squirt. Just a little bit too much there. My hand slipped. I have to be really careful because I have a torn rotator.
anything? Oh, this is really crap. Well, and we are finished. Wow, I am excited to see how these come out. I did the test batch, very similar with a lavender, a uh, purple Brazilian clay, and I was really impressed. Excuse me. So I'm really expecting these to look really, really nice. I will come back and show you the unmolding. I'm going to let these sit uh, for a few hours. I just want to make sure I don't get any of the wiggles in there. I think I got the one. Well, I got a little bit of wiggle in this one. Hopefully, and there's no other one with a wiggle. I'll have to use that one for my um, my display when I go to an event. I thank you very much for watching. I will be back with you shortly with the unmolding. And you can see how beautiful the soap is. Hey there, it's Vanessa. I'm back. And it's been about maybe two Maybe two to three hours since we since I poured the soap and so now it is ready to come out of the mold you know, a lot of times people are like well you know melt and pour this or hot process soap that or this that and the other I like them all I think it takes um, it's a different skill set required for each but I think they're all beautiful so they're coming out of the mold pretty nicely and here we go. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think? If I bring it up a little closer, can you see it? Is that better? I think it's beautiful. Mmm, smells good. So, these will be available on my website, at my web store very shortly. Um, so hopefully you will take some time to check it out. And, um... I will be bringing you another video soon. Again, another melt and pour because I want to do some melt and pour. I didn't do a lot last year. I'm doing a little bit more this year. And um, oh my God, is that just absolutely gorgeous? I love how these came out. So this year for 2020, I'm starting the year off with some melt and pour. Then I'm gonna jump over to some cold processes, some hot process. And hopefully, uh, all things go well. During the year, I'm going to be doing not just soap, but some scrubs and some other stuff that is fun to do. And great, 
great for your skin make wonderful purchases and gifts for a whole lot of people but especially you because you're beautiful huh I'm really proud of these I really do like these soaps so um, I want to say thank you so much for watching for taking the time out of your busy schedule to allow me to um, just demonstrate what I do and what I really love doing uh, please like and subscribe and comment and purchase these soaps from my web store I'll be setting up the links shortly and um, until we have the opportunity to meet again on another video my prayer for you is that you will be abundantly blessed thank you have a good day evening or afternoon wherever you are in the world bye bye